Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Alhamdulillah, in alhamdulillah, in ahmedu, when a stainu, when a stagfiru, when I would be lahi min shururi and fusina, women say ye ati amalina, may ye di hila who fell a modilahu, women yudlil fella had yella, what ash hadu and la ilaha in the law, what the hula shiri kara, what ash hadu and Muhammad and Abduh or a sulu, ya you haladina a man of Tahullah, a haka to Kartihi. ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار Allah is whom we praise, we praise him and we thank him. We seek refuge in him from the evil of our own souls and the evil of our actions. Whomsoever he guides, none can misguide him. And whomsoever he leads astray, none can guide to the truth. And I bear witness that there is no one worthy of worship but God Almighty alone, and that Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, is his slave and messenger. O you who believe, be mindful of Allah as he should be minded. Do not die except as Muslims. O mankind, be mindful of your Lord who created you from one soul, and from that soul its mate, and from those two spread many men and many women. And be mindful of those you ask your rights from, and be mindful of the wombs that bore you, 
for indeed Allah is ever watchful over you. O you who believe, be mindful of Allah and speak the truth. He will guide you to righteous deeds and forgive you of your sins. And whomsoever obeys Allah and his messenger has achieved the greatest achievement. The best of speech is Allah's speech. And the best of guidance is Muhammad's guidance, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the worst of affairs are those newly introduced into faith. And everything newly introduced into faith is an innovation, and every innovation goes astray, and everything which goes astray leads to the hellfire. We are less than 30 days out from the month of Ramadan. As we know, the fasting of the month of Ramadan is one of the five pillars of Islam. Buni al-Islam wa ala khams, as is found in the hadith of Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhu, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Islam was built on five. You may say to yourself, why do we need to be reminded of something which is part, an integral part of Islam? That's just like asking, why do we need to say, إِهْدِنَا الصِّرَاطَ mustaqim," guide us to the straight path, 17 times a day in our prayers. Because we are in need of a constant reminder. Brothers and sisters, if we stick to the basics of Islam, if we fulfill the five pillars of Islam, those actions that inculcate faith into our hearts, everything else afterward will be easy. Preparing for Ramadan, however, is necessary. It's not something that you want to have pop up on you. It's not something that you don't want to make preparations for. And by this, I don't mean meal prep. I don't mean buying gifts. I don't mean getting ready for having iftar with our families. All of that is fine and good. But unless we, prepare, unless we prepare physically, materially, spiritually, then Ramadan will not be as enjoyable as we want it to be. In a hadith narrated in Ibn Majah and is found in Bukhari and Muslim with a slight differing of phrases, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, كُلُّ عَمَلِ إِبْنِ آدَمْ يُضَعَفْ All of the actions of the son of Adam are multiplied. الْحَسَنَةُ بِعَشْرِ أَمْثَالِهَا One good deed is worth ten. قَالَ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah the Most High and Mighty says, إِلَّا الصَّوْمِ Except for fasting. فَإِنَّهُ لِي وَأَنَا أَجْزِبِهِ يَلْعَ طَعَامَهُ وَشَهْوَتَهُ مِنْ أَجْلِي Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, except for fasting, it is for me, and I alone shall reward it. When a person leaves off their desires and their food for my sake. All of our actions, if you do one good deed, you receive ten good deeds. If you do one bad deed, you receive one bad deed. If you think about doing a bad deed, and you don't do it, you receive one good deed. The mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is infinite. The mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is never ending. The fact that we can sin to the point that our sins overtake our bad deeds. Our, I'm sorry, the, the fact that we can sin till our sins overtake our good deeds shows that we are in need of actions with endless reward. Fasting, as we just heard, is one of those actions. Allah says, no, I will not multiply it like any other deed. In fact, I will give an endless reward for it. Allah says, I only reward the patient with a reward that has no ability to count. It's endless. Fasting is premised on the idea of patience. Usamat ibn Zayd radiallahu anhu, he narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to fast in ways that he had not seen him fasting before. 
He says, Ya Rasulullah, ra'aytuka tasumu fi sha'ban sawman la tasumuhu fi ghayrihi min ash-shuhur illa fi Ramadan. Oh, Messenger of Allah, I see you fasting in sha'ban, a fast that I don't see you fasting at any other month of the year except for Ramadan. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, ذَلِكَ شَهْرٌ يَغْفُلُ النَّاسَ عَنْهُ بَيْنَ رَجَبْ وَشَهْرِ رَمَضَان He said, that's a month that most people are heedless of. Between Rajab and Ramadan. تُرْفَعُ فِيهِ أَعْمَالُ النَّاسِ The actions of the people are taken up to Allah. فَأُحِبُّ أَنْ تُرْفَعْ عَمَلِي وَأَنَا صَائِمْ so I love that my actions are presented to Allah while I'm fasting. So out of the months of the year, this is one of the special features of the month of Sha'ban. Why would the Prophet wasallam, however, fast in Sha'ban more than he had fasted at other times of the year? Obviously, we can say, to prepare for the fast of Ramadan. If you have not been fasting three days out of every month, the three white days, the three full moon days. If you have not been fasting Mondays and Thursdays, and your body is not acclimated to staying away from food and drink for long periods of time, then please, in this month of Sha'ban, start to fast more than you had before. Start to acclimate your body. Even if it means that you intermittent fast and you abstain from food, but still drink water throughout the day. Get yourself used to fasting so that when Ramadan comes, you can fast completely and fully. أَقُولُ مَا تَسْمَعُونَ وَأَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ لِي وَلَكُمْ وَلِسَعَنِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ مِنْ كُلِّ ذَمْ فَاسْتَغْفِرُوهُ إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن اتبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين. What are the benefits of fasting other than simply acclimating yourself physically to the idea of abstaining from food and drink? We know that fasting means that you stop eating and drinking from the crack of dawn, not from the rising of the sun, but from the crack of dawn until the setting of the sun. No food, no drink, no family relations of that type. Completely abstaining from your desires and abstaining from food and drink. What are some of the benefits? We mentioned one of them, and that is fasting in Sha'ban means that your heart is alive, your mind is alive. You're not a person of ghafla, you're not a person of heedlessness, but you're cognizant of the fact that you need to worship more to be able to prepare for better worship in the things that are obligatory upon you. It also forgives you of your sins. As the Prophet ﷺ said, فِتْنَةُ الرَّجُلِ فِي أَهْلِهِ وَمَالِهِ وَجَارِهِ تُكَفِّرُهَا الصَّلَاةُ وَالصِّيَامُ وَالصَّدَقَةُ A man's trials and tribulations, the difficulty a man experiences with his family, with his wealth and with his neighbors, is expiated through prayer, fasting, and charity. So by fasting in this month, you are allowing your sins to be expiated. When you reach Ramadan, all you have then is to rack up good deeds. Also, it teaches us chastity. It teaches us to stay away from the haram. The Prophet ﷺ advised young men. He said, يَا مَعْشَرَ الشَّمَابِ مَنْ إِسْتَطَاعَ مِنْكُمُ الْبَاءَةَ فَلْيَتَزَوَّجْ فَإِنَّهُ أَغَضُّ لِلْبَصَرِ وأحسن للفرج ومن لم يستطع فعليه بالصوم فإنه له وجاء. He said, "O gathering of young men, whoever has the ability amongst you to marry, let him marry, as this allows him to control his eyesight, it allows him to to protect his privates, and whoever is unable to do so, then he must take to fasting, because it will be a tourniquet for him, it will be a protection for him." So fasting trains us to not give in to our base desires, but instead to learn to control them. And lastly, is proximity and closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says, مَا تَقَرَّبَ إِلَيَّ عَبْدِ بِشَيْءٍ أَحَبَّ إِلَيَّ مِمَّ فَتَرَضْتُهُ عَلَيْهِ 
My servant never comes closer to me with anything better than that which I have obligated him to do. And my servant continues to seek proximity to me through extra acts until I love him. So if you want the love of Allah and you want proximity to Allah, then one of the things that you can do in preparation for your obligatory fasts is to fast more optionally in this month. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَسَارِعُوا إِلَىٰ مَغْفِرَةٍ مِّن رَبِّكُمْ وَجَنَّةٍ عَرْضُهَا السَّمَاوَاتُ وَالْأَرْضُ وَعِدَّتْ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ And race to forgiveness from your Lord and a paradise whose expanse is the expanse of the heavens and the earth which was prepared for those that are mindful of Allah. Allahumma gfir lana dhunubana wa israfana fi amrina wa thabbit aqdamana ya rabbil alameen. Allahumma ja'alna min as-siyaa as-suwam al-quwam. Allahumma ja'alna min as-sa'imin al-qa'imin. Allahumma ja'alna mimman daydanuhu as-sawm. والصدقه والصلاه اللهم كفر عنا ذنوبنا يا رب العالمين oh allah make us from amongst those that fast and stand in night in prayer frequently oh allah make us make us from amongst those that are frequent in their prayer and their fasting oh allah make us from amongst those whose habits are habits of fasting and habits of prayer oh allah make us from amongst people of prayer and fasting and sadaqa oh allah forgive us and expiate our sins. O Allah, allow us to reach Ramadan with full health, safety, and the ability to fast it completely for you and for your sake alone. Ibadullah, inna Allah ya'muru bil adli wal ihsani wa ita'i dhil qurba wa yinha an al fahshai wal munkari wal baghi ya'idukum la'alakum tadakkaroon. اذكر الله العزيز الجليل يذكركم واشكروه على نعمه يزدكم ولذكر الله أكبر وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وأقم الصلاة. <تصفيق>